Good night, everybody. Uh, now I want to talk about the uh, online monitor of uh, guest conversation for the using guests. This was means the guest bar. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Mr. Xiong from Wuhan Cubic. Firstly, I would like to talk about what is the reducing gas. The generally, uh, this kind of gas combines of six, ga six gases, CO, CO2, CH4, CHM. CHM sometimes means uh, C, C2+, plus. something else uh, is gas, uh, not car, but not methanol, so it's a CHM. And also sometimes they have H2 and oxygen. For this kind of gas, generally it's come from the gasification, for coal gasification, for biomass gasification. For example, in China, uh, coal gasification is very, very common for fertilizer, for the farmer, fertilizer of the farmer. So there's a fertilizer, it comes from, uh, from the coal, not, not uh, like other countries, from natural gas. In China, generally, it's from coal. After uh, coal gasification, the gas to do the uh, single gas and to, then to the uh, fert fertilizer. So, so it's very important to, in China for get coal gasification research to that. Uh, in China, for fertilizer industry, there are more than about uh, uh, 7,000 uh, gasified units in, in China. Generally, the ID, the size, is about 3 meters to 3.6 meters. So, so this one is very popular now in China, everywhere. So and another one is the gas bio, biomass gasification. So now this uh, can uh, this is a new energy for biomass. The the, uh, the gas for reduced reduce gas is from the gasification of the coal and the biomass. Another one uh, reduced gas is from the pyrolysis. This means coking for uh, coal coking. Coal coking. China is the main uh, manufacturer of the coke. Now it's the biggest one in the world. I think it takes about six, uh, I think maybe half of the, the production in the world. So coking, especially in the uh, coal rich uh, states, rich, rich coal rich uh, followings, there are many co co coking uh, plants in China. Uh, for, for coking, I guess uh, composition is. Uh, Monitor is very, is very important also. Formerly, the off gas of the coking furnace was combusted as a flame, just directly to the to the air. So it's a waste of energy. Now it's forbidden now. So you, the 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 gas. Uh, oh, sorry. The gas should be uh, re recyclable at for power generation for power gen, for all for fertilizer and so on. So now it's not for me now. So everyone needs a gas, uh, gas monitor for, for the next state uh, man, man, manufacturer and so on. And then and the third one is the biochar, just like the charcoal. Charcoal, I with the largest charcoal company in Brazil because Brazil is very rich in the iron steel, but very less in coal. But the sun, is, the sun is very well. The sun is very well in Brazil. So now the plants very, very high. So use the plants with the biomass for charcoal. So, so charcoal is also a, a pyrolysis. It's from the biomass. Here is from the coal. They use the coke, like name the coke or charcoal for iron steel for the next day. Another, another one. Uh, uh, reducing gas is from the iron and steel process, such as the uh, uh, blast furnace, the converter, and other iron and steel process. The, the coal is also CO, CO2, CH4, H2O2, and so on. There. The first one, uh, the reduced gas, is the gas generate. <coughs> is the gas generate. This, uh, this kind of the machine was used for heat treating. For furnace heat treating. Why we should to monitor this kind of gas? Firstly, it is used for production process control. What kind of gas? For example, now for the gas fire, we just the combustion of the gas, but we don't know the quality of the gas. Can we improve the efficiency of the gas fire? 
So the gas and nicest. Gas composition is very important. The second one is the process safety. In China, for example, in for the coal uh, gasification, oxygen level is very important because for the uh, for the tar remove, they they use the ESP with the ESP oxygen level is very important. If the oxygen is very high, they they is uh, a problem of the expo ex ex expulsion. So oxygen level is very important also. Uh, another example for the safety is that for example for the blast furnace. Oxygen is very important. Oxygen, when the oxygen increasing, it means that the leakage of the water. Then this is uh, a problem for the for the uh, the blast furnace. So the process process safety monitor is very important also. The third one reason for uh, monitor of the gas composition for the reduced gas is for combustion and uh, and the treat of uh, optimization. For example, for the combustion, we should add, 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 add adjust. The A, the air, and the fuel rate. For example, the combustion the engine. How to control the air, air flow and to the fuel flow? I, I think it depends on the. the demand, uh, sorry. So it's very important for the air and fuel rate control for, for combustion. So how to monitor the gas composition in the uh, reducing gas, such as gas fire, is very, is very important. Uh, generally, <laughs> in the natural gas analysis, the, they means also gas analysis. This is a very traditional way to analyze the gas composition. This means the equipment is not, a, in fact, is not an analyzer, it's an equipment. So I'll talk about that. It's a good job for strong muscle. Do you know why? Because in the laboratory, I, I see some, uh, some guy in China do this kind of business because I go to sell uh, uh, this kind of machine to them. The taxi driver, sorry. <laughs> so so it's, uh, it's a hard job. Generally, you should uh, up and down for several hundred times for, for, for one, one sample. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a hard job and also time consuming. This is the offset analyzer. Offset analyzer is uh, is equipment. It's cheap, but time consuming and long uh, and uh, and a hard job. And also, the, you need some chemical to absorption of the CO and the CO two. As especially for C four and H two and H two, you should combustion after combustion and then do the absorption of the CO and the CO two and oxygen and so on. So it's very very complicated. In China, there are many people do this kind of job because every day, every day, one hour, one, one sample, you should analyze that. So three people one day to do this kind of job. If we have no online monitor system or digital gas analyzer, then you have to do everybody. So many people do this kind of job. Yes? What's the TCD method? What does that stand for? Oh, yeah, TCD means the thermal conductive deductor. Thermal conductive. Thermal conductivity, uh, yeah, TCD. IR is infrared. So this is the IR detector. This means uh, different gas have the different kind of wavelengths for absorption. This, uh, in fact, this is the reason for the greenhouse. <coughs> greenhouse, the same, the same meaning like that. So uh, the second uh, way uh, to monitor the gas is use the infrared and the TCD. Separately, generally now, now in the world, there are some companies who do this kind of business, such as ABB and Siemens. They do this, do this kind of the analyzer. This is the this kind of uh, detector <coughs> for such as ABB, Siemens, and Fuji, and Mike and so on. Provide this kind of gas analyzer, but generally. They are used for analyze of the CO and the CO2, but no CH4. They are, I will tell you the reason in the next chart. Because, uh, uh, the, because they just can analyze the CO and the CO2 and the oxygen. So in fact, for, for gas fire or for paralysis, CH4 
is very important. It's very important. So the, 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 this, uh, uh, this PG that uh, the, the, the can only analyze several kind of gas, not a total solution. So they have two, uh, two programs. One is to how nice the CH4 among the HC have a different kind of the hydrocarbon. You how to get the uh, uh, CH4. And now another problem is how to analyze the H2 with one is HC and CO2. Yes, you can do the, uh, you can manufacture the H2. But if the one label of the carbon, uh, hydrocarbon and CO2, maybe they are trouble for, the, uh, for this kind of detector. The third one is, uh, is the GC. This is very, uh, very popular now in the laboratory. So they use the GC. GC uh, generally uh, used for laboratory. Sometimes used for online. For online is a, is a, uh, the time interview is about uh, uh, one one minute to several 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 or, or ten minutes or sometimes one hour, half hour, and so on. Depends on the different kind of technology used. This is a variant portable. Uh, GC generally it costs about I think maybe four, forty thousand dollars for the for the for this kind of machine. The first one is the MS, MS mass spectrography. This kind of gas analyzer is okay. They can analyze different kind of gas, but very expensive. I think we have about one hundred thousand dollars. So for uh, maybe a ten piece of our gas file. So maybe sometimes we cannot use this kind of technology for our gas farm. So which one is the best? For our set, yes, very cheap, but they cannot be online. And it's time consuming. And also you need some chemical. So you, you, you need the experienced people. For the IR and the TCD, they can be used online, but sometimes some problem for analyze of the CH4 maintenance, and some problem for the H2. For GC, yes, it can be online, and also it's not so expensive. Not so expensive, but also it's some complicated. You should need some uh, carrier gas, such as the nitrogen, the high quality, high purity nitrogen for carrier gas. For MS, yes, it's very good, but very expensive. So we need a, a very good solution for this kind of online monitor system for our gas file system. So this is the reason I, we want to uh, develop a one solution for gas file and for this kind of the application, especially in China, there are many this kind of business. Everywhere gas file, everywhere cooking, cooking, so need, they need this kind of the machine. So, so firstly, I want to who is Kubin? The, the, the guy is me. Uh, here is our another uh, another engineer. He take, he responsible with the PCB design. Uh, this this guy responsible with the mechanical design. Here he knew the software design. At that time, I I get my PhD in the university and then live in the university for research. Uh, after several years, I found that the instrument for the gas file is somewhat difficult. We just buy the GC by the online system. So I asked some guy whether or not they can do the, the gas sensor technology. In fact, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just know some, know some idea and just talking. So I asked the guy, he's an is a engineer in our university. He's, at that time, he's a master degree student. They, they all must be great students. At that time, I pay some money to them, whether or not we can organize a group to start the gas sensor technology and then work for different kind of application in China. So we set up the Kubik. Kubik means in China, uh, I think not only China, I think in the world, means the four, four, four side. Yeah, so this is the reason like for that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so now Kubik, uh, we set up the Kubik in 2003. At the, at, the, at the beginning, we just four people, because Kubik four people, and now I will 140 people now. Yes, after seven, after seven years. Now our analyzer was uh, uh, exported to 39 countries. 